But first, Tovo and his Green Berets arrange to meet the PUK leadership. They have to win them over if Operation Viking Hammer is to have any chance of success. In my particular prong, I had a general called Sheikh Jaffer. Uh, and he was the one who was giving the orders to the Kurds. The Kurds suddenly stop. Sheikh Jaffer basically says, you know, what are we going to do? You saw all the Kurdish force literally squat down and stop. The Peshmerga had come under fire from the Ansar al-Islam forces and stopped cold in their tracks. Green Beret's operation. Viking Hammer could be looked at as a textbook application of the training. At its heart was the doctrine of persuading local forces to fight alongside small American teams, bringing in devastating air power to important Kurds, a general Sheikh Jaffa, in charge of the Peshmerga. The Green Berets and their allies become pinned down. Realizing they have to do something, they come up with a plan to flush the enemy out of their stronghold. And the son of the PUK leader, Bafal Talabani, who will act as their interpreter. But when Tovo meets the Kurds, he finds they will need persuading. So they met up in Halabja and uh, began to plan how they were going to take on Ansar al-Islam. The first problem Tovo faces is cultural. The Kurds are a warrior people. Their name, Peshmerga, means he who faces death. The Kurds sport moustaches and view any clean-shaven outsider as an inexperienced child. With the operation in the balance, Kentovo and the Green Berets have to explain how they will do it and avoid Kurdish casualties. He uses a detailed terrain model to outline every aspect and talk through the risks and the battle plan. The Green Berets will work closely with a force of 7,000 Peshmerga. The main thrust, Yellow Prong, must first capture a village called Gulp. The town of Gulp was a small little checkpoint area that uh, was at the foot of the valley. But the enemy are waiting. As the Kurdish force started moving up the hill into Gulp, uh, they came under some pretty heavy fire. Along I had a general called Sheikh Jaffer. Uh, and he was the one who was giving the orders to the Kurds. The Kurds suddenly stop. Sheikh Jaffer basically says, you know, what are we going to do? You saw all the Kurdish force literally squat down and stop. The Peshmerga had come under fire from the Ansar al-Islam forces and stopped cold in their tracks. This is not good. We need to maintain the momentum. We need to you know, keep moving forward. How, how are we going to do this? To turn the situation around, Captain Rowan calls on backup and summons an airstrike. They got on the radio, they called for help, and a Navy F-18 replied with 500-pound J-dams. Huge force behind them. That was enough to rally the Peshmerga. They pushed on into Gulp. Inside Gulp, the Peshmerga fight house to house to clear it. It's also the first chance for the Green Berets to comprehend the task ahead. When the sun comes up and you see the mountains with snow and just the sheer uh, magnitude of them, it makes you realize just what a dangerous place you're about to, to go into.
taking berets. At a fighting position that were heavily dug in. The Kurdish fighters are armed only with AK-47s and a few magazines of ammunition. But their bravery is astonishing. Compared to the Green Berets, their tactics are simple. They're always on the attack, never pausing so as not to lose momentum. If a Kurd is wounded, he is expected to make his own way to medical treatment. With the mission running ahead of schedule, the Kurds hold a team talk. Sheikh Jaffer pulled them all in and talked to them about how they had done very well fighting this far and essentially gave them this, this motivational speech, you know, talking through about the importance of fighting bravely, living up to their heritage, we're known as warriors, uh, this is our chance to fight with our American brethren. I think that's when it really hit me. We had the translator with us and he was letting us know what uh, Sheikh Jaffer was talking to him about in Kurdish and it was really hitting home with me that we are getting ready to enter the crux of the battle. The Green Berets move on again. As they entered Sargat, Now the Peshmerga and Special Forces A-teams are functioning well. They have earned each other's respect. The guerrillas also know that their partners in their heavily armed pickups are a formidable unit. For now, the Kurds and Green Berets halt their advance as darkness falls. 